Philip Schofield's bombshell text to Holly Willoughby amid his career downfall has reportedly been revealed, shedding light on the collapse of their one strong friendship. The 62-year-old presenter, who stepped down from his role on ITV's this morning last May after admitting to an unwise affair with a junior colleague, allegedly sent a cutting message to Holly, 43, accusing her of abandoning him when he needed her most. According to reports from The Mirror, Philip sent Holly a WhatsApp message, stating, You brought me down, as his career crumbled. The message came just before the news of his departure from this morning went public. A source told the newspaper that Philip couldn't believe Holly, whom he referred to as his TV sister, would turn her back on him at such a critical moment. He reportedly pleaded with her for a public show of support, whether in the form of a statement or a photo of the two of them together, to help ease the media storm. However, Holly allegedly ignored his request, a move Philip felt sealed his fate. He thought a simple gesture of support might have saved his job, but when she refused, it effectively finished him off, the source continued. Philip had always been a staunch supporter of Holly, even recommending her for high-profile opportunities, including her stint on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. He considered their chemistry the foundation of the show's success, so her lack of public backing felt like a personal betrayal. Holly, however, reportedly told Philip that she didn't want to feed the narrative and that ITV executives advised her not to make any public statements regarding the situation. Despite Philip's hurt feelings, it seems that Holly was focused on protecting her own image during the highly publicized scandal. Additionally, another shocking detail has emerged regarding Holly's knowledge of Philip's brother Timothy's legal troubles. Timothy Schofield was convicted in April 2023 for 11 sexual offenses involving a child, including sexual activity with a minor. The Mirror claims that Philip confided in Holly about his brother's arrest back in 2021, despite earlier reports suggesting she had been blindsided by the news. According to a source, Holly was initially supportive of Philip during this difficult time, but when Timothy's trial became public in May 2023, she began to distance herself, concerned about the impact it could have on her reputation. A friend of Philip's alleged that Holly's team allowed a false narrative to circulate, one which portrayed her as being shocked and furious when she learned of Timothy's crimes. That couldn't be further from the truth, said the source. Instead, Holly was aware of the situation well in advance and even offered Philip support privately. But when the media scrutiny intensified, she opted to stay silent to protect her personal brand. As tensions grew between the former co-hosts, Holly began to chart her own path, which culminated in her departure from this morning in October 2023. She cited concerns about her personal safety following a disturbing plot by security guard Gavin Plum who allegedly intended to kidnap, rape, and murder her. The ordeal pushed Holly to step away from the show, marking the end of her 14-year partnership with Philip. Despite the fallout, Holly has seemingly found peace in her solo career, re-emerging with new projects and rekindling old friendships. She has reconnected with fellow presenter Fern Cotton, whom she had drifted apart from after they stopped filming Celebrity Juice together. Holly is also set to host Netflix's reality competition Bear Hunt and will return to Dancing on Ice, embracing new opportunities post this morning. Meanwhile, Philip's return to television has also stirred up fresh controversy. In his new survival show, Castaway, filmed on a remote island off the coast of Madagascar, Philip opened up about the fallout from his time at ITV. While he thanks several colleagues, including Anne McPartland, Deck Donnelly, and Joanna Lumley, he notably did not mention Holly. In one of the more pointed remarks during the show, Philip said, When you throw someone under a bus, you've got to have a really bloody good reason to do it. Though he didn't name Holly directly, the comment left viewers speculating that it was aimed at her. Despite Philip's veiled swipes, those close to Holly have indicated that she's unfazed by his comments, with one insider stating, after everything she's been through, remarks like that are just noise. As both presenters continue to navigate their respective futures, it appears their once unbreakable bond is well and truly fractured, with little sign of reconciliation on the horizon.